I've literally left everything last minute today. We have a family shoot late tonight and I still haven't got our outfits. I'm just about to go train. My body did actually wake me up at 6 a.m., which never actually happens. So it's happened on a good day because I've been super productive. I'm gonna get my session over and done with and then I've gotta find us all outfits for tonight. I am stressed, I am stressed. I do actually train faster most mornings and I deeply rely on oxygen energy. Honestly, the hype around these cans so worth it they are literally the best they are super convenient but i do actually just mix it within my shaker and add some creatine creatine again it's an essential if you're someone who you're wanting to build a lean muscle mass you'll literally notice the difference straight up like your muscles will hold more water i notice if i do like a glute session and i don't have my creatine i'm like where is my booty pump where is it and then i have it i'm like oh okay obviously there are so many other benefits when it comes down to performance in the gym recovery etc like creatine is the beast do you want to put that dish in your mouth? taken a break off tracking which I personally feel as though it is super healthy to do and it also helps regain your mindfulness when it comes down to eating listening to your body and all of them important things that you do tend to lack when you are tracking I mainly did decide to take a break from tracking just purely from I've been so stressed so exhausted and tracking without even knowing does cause a lot of stress essentially you're making like a simple task quite complicated through like weighing everything tracking it all so it is an unconscious stress that I did want to just reduce out of my everyday life so I can put my energy towards things that I'm trying to accomplish and that is why I'm going through this kind of like stressful transition I guess of my life and overall I'm someone who I am naturally highly stressed and because I do actually have ADHD when I have a lot on my plate I'm a perfectionist I overcomplicate things. My mind is just naturally running 100 miles an hour. So that just, my own mind exhausts me. And now also because I take care of Caden full time, I'm running my businesses, I'm trying to take care of a household. Having a lot of fitness stress on top of that was just so not needed. So I've been taking more breaks off the gym. I've actually limited my training to around three to four times per week. Um, I'm not going for walks. I'm just mainly taking it slow and oh my fucking God, it has been so refreshing. I have noticed my stress levels decrease so much within my body and just my everyday life. Like I'm just naturally more relaxed. And it just goes to show how important it is to listen to your body because you know what you need and it's all about finding what is going to work for you and a balance and understanding that we do go through certain seasons of life and right now training isn't my number one priority like obviously my health will always be a number one priority my health right now is actually de-stressing and finding my balance and because i have had a bit of gut issues again purely from stress not through related just stress um i have been wanting to sort that out and something that i do apply is rest to digest and that helps me like crazy i noticed i was having flare-ups every single afternoon and it would be triggered straight after my afternoon walk. So I've cut them out completely. I've reduced the amount that I'm training, my volume training within a week. 
And guys, it has helped so much with my bloating, my digestion, and my afternoon flare-up. So rest may be exactly what you need. So basically, yes, I'm listening to my body, but I'm also trying to make sure that I am eating enough protein, eating enough calories, because I do also want to put on some muscle mass over the next few months. And I just want to challenge myself to see if I can do it, because... Um, with my last build, obviously I made some progress, loved it, but I was also extremely uncomfortable. I hated force feeding myself. I hated having to track everything. It just got to a point where I was just so over it. Now I'm going to have kind of like a different approach where I'm just doing builds throughout the year where I'm not hitting a point where I'm just stupidly uncomfortable. I'm over it. I'm fatigued. Yeah, I definitely just want to be having a different approach and also something that I want to do is learn to lift my body and also achieve my goal at the same time, which... Probably setting myself up for failure, but we're trying anyway. I usually always do it in the microwave, but I bought some rolled oats because I want to start doing some overnight oats. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to cook them. I feel like it'll just be nicer. Everything's nicer on the stove and oven equivalent to the microwave, Dal. So let's just... We're winging it. I don't know. I'm just going to add water as we go. And then I'm adding my protein powder afterwards. So you can't cook it with that. So let's just have it wet. I actually have high hopes here. This is looking phenomenal. I still want it to be quite liquidy because you still want to add your protein in. Because I'll be out majority of the day, I'm just going to... Uh, pack some lunch so we made some chicken snitty last night it's just homemade chicken snitty so easy to make and then greek salad so i'm just going to make some more salad with dressing and chuck that all together i'm trying to include more like healthy fats and just fats overall within my diet because it's something that i struggle with and i lack at and it does help me get my calories in so i'll be having this and i'll take some snack and if you are someone who you struggle with whey protein highly recommend getting on the blessed train like if you're someone who struggles with like the bloating or the digestion side when it comes down to weight blessed so good and the flavors are literally incredible this is the salted caramel salted caramel and peanut butter cups all right we're just in the middle of getting ready and after a stressful few hours at the shop it was almost impossible because what i'm wanting to do is have like a matching set for the boys and i just could not find anything matching and there was just nothing for kids i ended up getting i envisioned these like blue shorts they're kind of no fake pics no fake pics no oh you look so handsome i feel like i can get away with that no so these fake. are joel's no like we come you've zoomed in no fake pics oh you look so handsome. And for me, I'm literally the luckiest human alive. So I found that there's like a higher place um, online and it's delivery next day. So it's obviously like New South Wales, pretty sure. I don't know. She's Sydney located. I will put her tag on here, but so good because I'm always so last minute with my outfits. I just ordered two different white ones because I've kind of envisioned something with the boys and myself and I want to wear like all white because it is like kind of like a beachy shoot. It's the vibe that I'm going for. So I've chose two different white dresses. I am just so happy I didn't have to stress about my outfit. I just had to stress two hours for the boys. Okay, we're running late, but this is the dress that I've ended up going with. Super cute. The other one is so nice. It's flowy, but Joel thinks it is a little bit too dressy, but I'm still going to take it just in case. Yeah. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no. Just wanna make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water. Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I wish you the best All oh, the boys The, the, the bad right Sandy Camera died oh. You 
Silly bugger, they're the wet. So excited for you getting the car in the nice clean house. Okay, I've got some hungry boys at me, so I'm doing the garlic bread now. It's honestly so easy, so what you want to do is just mix a bit of butter and garlic together. You are actually meant to just use garlic um, cloves, but I find it so much easier and it tastes the exact same to just use garlic paste. So I'll be mixing these two together and then you want to drizzle it with olive clockwise oil. Clockwise or anti-clockwise? I don't know. What am I doing? It I'm... tastes different if you do it anti-clockwise. No, they do. Surely not. <laughs> Where did you get that from? Book of knowledge. Yeah. Oldie. Okay. A little bit more garlic. Okay. And then you just want to drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil. And then... I'm just gonna add some herbs on top, and then I will also just sprinkle a bit of Parmesan um, once it's all baked. I'll just sprinkle a little bit on top to make it like kind of like a cheesy garlic bread. <laughs> so this is just like a garlic and mixed herbs that I Show bought me. from Coles. And it's got salt, all the good stuff in it. Honestly, so easy that I'm just gonna pop it in the oven as is. And then I will add cheese, that is the main ingredient. Also, I change into comfy clothes. <sighs> okay. Won't be long, darling. So, just quickly, and just, just quickly, right, why I've got you there, huh? I'm gonna do some potatoes. Sorry, I've got one hungry man at me. Kitchen's chaos. All right, baking tray, baking paper. Oh. So I've got sweet potato for the little man because he actually doesn't like potato, which is super weird. What's in it? What do you mean? Is there cheese in them? No, there's nothing in them. I've got to flatten them and then coat them. So I just use. Oh man, you're running around like a headless took here. A cup because I wasn't prepared and then you've come upstairs. Okay, so I just use a cup to flatten them. Oh, I definitely do prefer to leave the skin on. It makes it more crunchy. Well, oh, they look hot. They are hot. All right, so then we're going to transfer these as is. Oh, um, you, got, you got the tools now. I know, some serious business. You do not belong over there. Stay where you are. So this is basically what I'm going to also marinate the salmon in. I've got... Salmon. So good. I've got some Worcestershire Shire sauce. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. I've got olive oil. And then I've just added in some more of this, um, which is oh, like a garlic. Is herb. that like... KFC, the Colonel's Secret Herbs and yes, Spices. I did it myself. And then salt and pepper. So I'm just going to coat this on the potatoes and the sweet potatoes. It's still on there. <laughs> God. I had to have chocolate because she went. I know. Crazy. Yeah, no, I've got the garlic bread in. Sorry. Rosemary on top of the potatoes. Just a little bit or like a crisp bit? A crisp bit because it looks nice, babe. Yeah. Aesthetics. Yeah. Doesn't matter what it tastes like. No. Nah, it's gonna be pretty. Just, yeah, that yeah, does look, yeah, rosemary yeah. is a herb. You can add so much herbs on and then I'll just drizzle a little bit more olive oil on it also it bakes well. Aesthetics. Oh, I can smell rosemary in the house. Oh, can you? Okay. Oh, babe, your garlic bread looks good. Good. I think that's ready. Well, I am hungry. Yeah, I'll get it out now. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video i wanted to give a quick shout out to the sponsors of today's video so squarespace thanks to all creators sponsors we're able to keep this channel running and continue creating content for you guys squarespace is an all-in-one website builder this is something that i actually personally use myself with all my websites gone are the days where creating and designing your own website is hard or you're spending thousands of dollars on a website designer with squarespace it is honestly so easy to do yourself as you can see you can pick from all their templates which are so beautiful and 
so professional and then you just customize it to fit your brand's look and style. Having a website is honestly an essential if you're trying to make money online, grow your business or just grow a certain platform whether you're wanting to have a blog page, a landing page or just somewhere where people can reach and learn more about you and your brand. I will leave more about Squarespace in the description below and my discount link does give you 10% off your first domain or Squarespace purchase. Anyway guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!